Hey guys, my name is Alex, my gamer tag is CureSF, and today I'm going to be bringing you a pretty awesome 97 and 4 with the Silence B23. Uh, this is going to be a pistol only gameplay, and it's going to be a little long, so bear with me, I'm going to teach you a couple cool things, like this uh, nice little grenade spot to the other side. Uh, I'm going to pick up a double kill here, and I'm going to teach you guys not only some tips and tricks, but some ways to make sure that you're still having fun with the game. Um, especially people with higher KDs that are using the same, they find themselves using the same gun over and over. Um, I'm doing this to challenge myself. I thought it would be fun to make the game as more difficult as I guess I could. Um, so yeah, so Silence B23, uh, at range it's not all that great, uh, but up close it will win quite a few fights. Um, so my perks are going to be Hardline, Scavenger, and Dexterity. Um, the one way I challenge myself is uh, in Ground War I don't run Ghost. Uh, a lot of people run UAVs, and obviously one way to challenge myself in that sense is to not run Ghost. I'm not saying Ghost is overpowered, I'm just saying that um, being completely invisible with a silencer Ghost is a little less challenging. Um, obviously you're constantly sneaking up on people, whereas if they have a UAV, they might know I'm coming, so it, it makes for entertaining uh, fights at times. Um, another way I challenge myself, obviously, is just using a pistol and the combat knife. Um, normally, I don't even run a lethal grenade, but for uh, for that opening move, I actually stuck on a grenade. Normally, I would run, uh, I don't know, toughness or extreme conditioning or something. I would sacrifice another EMP grenade. Uh, so, yeah. My kill streaks are going to be the EMP, uh, Cujo's, and the Air Hogs. Uh, that's your normal setup for a higher, a higher kill gameplay. Um, so obviously now I've got my dogs, but I'm going to explain to you guys why I'm running EMP. Now, most people would say, well, why wouldn't you run VSAT? Because that would benefit your team, uh, knowing where they are on the on the radar and everything. Uh, there's a couple of reasons behind that. Uh, lately, I've been running into people who are hiding counter UAVs in their uh, in their kill streak loadout, and so whenever I call a V set in, I would get countered, and you know that's kind of frustrating. Um, another thing is, without running Ghost, uh, I guess to kind of uh, I guess I'm kind of cheating myself in a way, or cheating a little bit in the sense that. Uh, obviously, I said uh, that them running UAVs gives them uh, gives them foresight on possibly where I'm at. So me shooting them down with EMPs uh, is a little cheap. Also, I've noticed that I benefit more from an EMP getting called in just because I benefit from the actual points of destroying a UAV. Now I don't pay attention to when they're actually calling them in or not. I just call them in. Um, but it does seem, to, you know, you still get the same amount of points for an assist. Uh, you might not get as many assists, obviously, with the uh, ability to actually see where they are. Uh, it's a little different, but... Um, so now I'm going to explain to you guys why I run EMP grenades. I'm not trying to be super irritating, because I think getting stunned is just as irritating in this game as uh, being EMP'd. However, the EMP offers an automatic plus 50, just like any other uh, assist from a grenade. Uh, I'm going to fast forward real quick because I'm actually out of ammo and I didn't know what to do. Uh, yeah. I'm going to cap A and that's about it. I'm going to get one kill, I'm going to end the round in 56 and 0. Ignore it. <clears throat> Anyways, I run EMP grenades because I don't run, or I'd rather not sacrifice a perk slot with Engineer, which does not benefit me other than obviously being able to see where equipment is. Um, engineer is a good perk if you tend to run care packages. You can, uh, you know, do the reroll. Uh, maybe if a teammate gets a shit care package, you can reroll that as well. Um, but rather than sacrifice, and that just sucks. <clears throat> but rather than sacrifice a, a perk slot or uh, another wild, uh, another wild card, I can actually run EMP grenades. Which obviously go through and destroy all of your annoying bouncing Bettys, Claymores, shock charges, uh, trophy systems, guardians, sentry guns. The list is huge. Um, and, uh, it really helps a lot. Um, it gets me a lot of points. I, I'm not going to lie, I, I do sling them out a lot. But I will say, in their defense, when you're stunned and you don't have tack mask on, you are stunned for about five seconds. Uh, that that is almost for sure a good way to die. 
Uh, it's not anything against it. I do not like getting stunned. Obviously, there's a counter to it called Running Tag Mask, but I find myself not needing it a whole lot. It just seems to, every now and then, it seems to be a necessity. Uh, so, obviously, running an EMP grenade, all it really does is slow you down. You have a, a seven second uh, EMP effect on you. It's not really that big of a deal. It's not really that much of a nuisance to me, at least. Obviously, other people that run like red dots and laser sights might not like it as much, but I'll get over it. <laughs> so, now let's get to the tactics of doing well with a pistol only. You'll notice that I have, for the most part, ignored that little wood step area over there, and that's because the house that's to my left is a huge spawn point for uh, C for C Dom. And that's just a good way to go. If you go over there, you're probably going to die. No, no doubt about it. Um, but as you'll notice, I've been basically sticking to the edges of the map. Um, that is because I'm trying to stay within the strength of my weapon. And my weapon, at range, if they're not moving, yeah, I can pick them off, whatever. But not, not really. <laughs> It'll take 9 to 12 bullets to actually kill them at range with a silencer on this gun. Uh... It's not, you know, oh, look, Xbox lag. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. Instead of getting my swarm and possibly the 100 kills that I wanted, I'm going to get to watch that. I'm so mad. You guys had no idea. <laughs> um, but anyway, back to the game. Uh, running the edges, you can learn really how to do it effectively is just running regular domination, playing by yourself, and just stick to the edge. Run low kill streaks, but watch how a lot of your gunfights aren't face to face. Uh, most times, the only time you're going to catch a face to face gunfight, and I'm not saying it makes you weak or anything like that for um, picking fights like that, but it definitely helps you earn those kill streaks. And as you learn your your sort of route, your paths that you uh, that you seem to uh, benefit and do very well on you'll start to learn what routes you want to take, how you want, say, where you want to get in the map. You can actually use that to your advantage to get over there. Um, so as my team, you know, obviously I'm going to have, I think I end up with uh, eight captures this game. And eight captures, that means that constantly we are either triple capping them or flipping spawns a lot. And that's just what happens, you know. Normally I run solo in Ground Wars, so I normally run a lot of captures anyways. I do play the objective for... Obviously, the score benefit of it, um, but the other thing is obviously uh, it keeps a more it atten it's my attempt to keep a more consistent spawn, um, and sometimes you know it can get frustrating to have them spawning everywhere, but it keeps it more fun running around and all that. So always play the objective. Don't don't get caught up in oh you know I'm close to a VSAT. I probably shouldn't hop that on hop on that. One thing I love about Black Ops and Treyarch's create an emblem is uh, the emblem F your KD hop on B or whatever it says you know I, I think that's absolutely hilarious and I can't stand it when teammates don't hop on um, yeah so this has been 97 and 4 this is going to be the kill cam I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and I know I was a little scatterbrained for the commentary but uh, again I hope you guys enjoyed I had 17 defends obviously uh, tied for most captures in the game uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, if you enjoyed this, I will have some other pistol gameplays on my own channel. My own channel is Copenhagen Killstreak, and you can also follow me on Twitter at Stone underscore Flame. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Peace. Good win.